Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and why am I filming a not a vlog on my camera? Now this video originally I thought was gonna come out after my next vlog which is coming out which I think is what 516 are we on now? So in vlog 516 if I have the numbers correct I mentioned that my camera which happens to be right here um, is not technically broken but there's something wrong with the memory card part like something got moved so i have to take it unfortunately to a professional and get looked at and i should be able to do that within the next couple of days but the problem is easter is right around the corner my giveaway we're in the middle of my giveaway i knew i had a couple packages coming in so i didn't want to miss the opportunity to film even though I knew the quality wasn't where I want it to be. Um, especially this haul in particular because of Easter. I wanted to give you guys a chance to get your hands on a couple things if you wanted to as well. So that's why I'm pushing the video out before the vlog. This is my second attempt, actually no, this is my third attempt filming this video with my phone because every time I did, I was either just really overexposed. I kept trying to film up in my bedroom where I have like a big balcony window and it wasn't working. So I made like this weird makeshift tripod that you guys are on right now in front of my ring light on my iPhone and it is the best that I can do. So I know it's not perfect and I apologize for that, but at least you can still hang out, hang out with me and we can still get some videos out while I deal with my camera situation. Back in February, I think it was February 19th, 2016, and the only reason I know this is because, again, this is my third attempt filming this video, I out there like a little sped up version video down here, but I did my very first basin video. I did a really small haul. I really had no idea like what basin was. But at the time, and still today, I'm super into like Lush and bath products. So I wanted to try this company out and I had ordered stuff from them and pretty much immediately fell in love with the company. After a while, you just, it was just one of those things that I kind of forgot about. I've been trying to keep up with so many brands and launches and stuff. You just sort of forget about websites, but I am signed up through their email and I got an email talking about mystery bundle and that had my name written all over it. So I'm really excited to share with you guys a mystery soap package from Basin today. Now keep in mind, this is not the original video, so I have seen all this stuff. I am keeping the screenshot for my Basin video though because your girl is not looking too cute today. And I was looking cute yesterday and the day before that, the two other times I tried to film this video and today we're just not having it. And I wanna get this video done because um, I really wanna put these soaps out to be honest. <laughs> Third time's a charm. I really need to get this video out to you guys so you have time to order um, any Easter stuff. Now, I'm not an affiliate. I don't have an affiliate code. I don't get paid to direct you to these websites. I truly love the company. Like, I'm telling you guys, the company is awesome and I'm not getting anything out of it. Like, I don't even get, like, free soaps, you know? I'm not, like, I'm not on a PR list. I'm not an affiliate sponsored. Nothing. Nothing at all. This was all um, spent with my own money as well. I actually went on the website because I wanted to go through and show you guys um, the soaps as well, tell you their scents. But the funny thing is I only found one product online. Um, and I will show you that a little bit later in the video as well as I'll show you quickly here some of the little Easter stuff you can get. It's cute, they have like little bags. They usually have like one little soap and then I think they have like bath bombs and bath salts as well that can be included. So there are a couple little gifts like that. But let's dive into the little baggies. So this is how it came. It came in like a little box which is thrown out because, you know, I figured after the second time I would have had a video, but no. Inside the box was this bag and then this bath bomb. And I was like, bath bomb? I didn't order a bath bomb, but when I went on the website and I was looking into it, um, there's always a free gift of purchase with the soaps. Um, and the other interesting thing is, like I said, I only found one of these soaps online. So I'm wondering if you buy the mystery bags, if you kind of get those like, hold off the shelf kind of soaps and stuff. I don't know, because I was looking through and there's so many cute soaps on the website still that I really want to get my hands on. So don't be surprised if there's another haul within the next couple of months. But anyways, these soaps, so you get six of them, came in this uh, reusable baggie. And I'm so into this. I love bags like this. I'll definitely find another use for it. 
um, but it, they are protected. And then each soap is also individually wrapped. So I'm just gonna go through them and I'm gonna try to do them in a similar order as I did the very first time. Um, but again, I already know what's in here. But let's begin. The very first one I remember seeing was this golf one. And this one actually happens to be the only one I also found online. So I will link this one. I couldn't even find this bath bomb, so I can't tell you what it smells like. Through the packaging, I mean, you get a very, very, very subtle hint of a smell, but just really smells like a nice soap <laughs> but I love this one because it immediately reminded me of my husband TJ who loves golfing he can't do it as much as he would like to but it just immediately reminded me of him so that is the first one then we ended up getting uh, this is the most one of the most plain ones so I'll show you but it's just a like solid block of yellow and then it has white soap on the bottom i'm curious if this one has a citrus scent to it which i'd be totally down for because i love lemon i love orange like anything that smells like that again not really getting anything besides the smell of plastic so i'm gonna stop sniffing them but it's cute and i also like having ones that don't have a theme for like those months that kind of come and go and there's not really a whole lot going on so we have that I, this is one of my daughter's favorite which is funny but it's in a like super light pink bar of soap and then you, uh, of course you see the pig now all throughout the video i'll make sure you guys get somewhat of a close-up because i know my camera is not gonna do it justice whatsoever i don't even know if the close-ups will do justice but just so you can see what i'm talking about like this pig it's got details like it's got it's a little snow it's got its eyes and everything and this the snow is like center i'm so fascinated with stuff like this um i was building candles for a while and now i'm like is soaps gonna be my new thing? <laughs> I don't know, but it's super, super cute and I love it. Next soap we have, which is, uh, is like one of the other kind of more plain ones, but it's sort of like a tie dye. Um, it's got like a super light, almost like tangerine, orange, yellow, kind of like burgundy. And then it has this little white flower that's playing peekaboo at the top. Oh, this is the first time that I'm noticing on the top too. It has almost like soap shavings which is pretty cool then we have this football one which i'm really excited to have actually because i hate to say it but i was born and raised in new england i am a patriots fan so when we win the super bowl again <laughs> i will definitely be putting this out this year we had just a couple friends over like our closest friends like a group of like five or six we had our friends and then like some of them had their girlfriends and it was just a small group of us and we all got together and i just I would totally put this out in the bathroom. Like, this is so cute. It's a big football. Again, it's got the like the detail all over it. And then like these little triangular shapes. I don't know. And then like grass, which is so interesting how they make the grass. And then our last soap. I can't even believe how quickly this haul went. Oh my goodness. The last soap is the only one that has a sticker on it. And I already tried getting the sticker off without removing the plastic so you could get a better look. And unfortunately the plastic is just gonna have to come off. But this was $7.99 and it's called Rubber Ducky. And even this one with the name, I went online and I searched for it and I couldn't find it. So I don't know if it's like, you know, you only really get it in like mystery bag kind of things. Is it gonna be restocked? I don't, I don't know. But this one is so flippin' cute. Now, currently I have a soap on my soap dish from Lush. It's like that strawberry one that I got for, I think it's strawberry whip or something. I got it for Valentine's Day back in February. But once I'm like either sick, with, sick of that one or a holiday comes up, or I just, you know, feel like changing it out, um, I'll definitely be putting one of these guys out. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with the disaster that my camera has caused me. <laughs> Again, I just wanted to make sure I push this video out um, first, pretty much right away within the next couple of days, because again, I want you to have an opportunity. Um, you know, we're still a couple weeks out from uh, Easter. I thought the Easter things were so cute. I just don't like, we don't exchange gifts on Easter. Like I have no one to buy it for besides myself. <laughs> but like if you have like, even like someone who has a birthday near Easter, like if they're super into stuff like this, like I think that would be really, really cute. I know for sure someone like me would really appreciate getting something like that. It's just different and something that you don't see every day. I'm, I'm 
super into it. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And if you want to comment or if you have any other further questions, feel free to reach out to me on my other social media platforms. You can either reach out via Instagram or my Facebook fan page since YouTube still decided to disable my comments. Um, that is the best way to reach out to me and I check those. I definitely, I'll, I'll get back to you. So if you have a question, please let me know. Also, while you're down there, if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.